Thank you.
Hello, students. Good. Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Hi, how are you? Hello, hello. Do you listen to me? Hi. Hello. Yes, teacher. Hello. Oh, hi, hi. Welcome. Welcome, hey, you all. Good evening. Hey, good evening. It's a pleasure to have you here again. Uh, beautiful evening so just waiting to be here in the class and then you get recover energy to for tomorrow's activities so it's a pleasure to have you here so i just want to uh, yes encourage you to like practice english and study hard try every day to do your best because it's very necessary when we study english and we practice so um, I know that we have different personal experiences during this day. Sometimes we have different things and also uh, responsibilities, duties, works, and different things. So in that case, um, we are going to like begin. And I just like want to encourage you to study different topics we have here today. Let's start. So we're gonna we're gonna continue with our video conference 14. We're studying today the simple present versus the present continuous. This is a very interesting grammar structure uh, about the, the, the combination between the simple present and present continuous. We know we use the simple present and also we use the present continuous because yesterday we studied a little bit. But we had to see the difference between the simple present and the present continuous. Uh, the question is, what do you know about the, the both? I mean. Teacher, when I'm going to use simple present and when I'm going to use the present continuous, what is the difference between both? What am I going to use these structures and when am I going to use this structure? So it's actually very valuable to think about what grammar structures we're gonna focus in, in what way we're gonna be doing that. So this is one of the things that we're gonna develop here in the class. And uh, this is what I will share with you right now. Uh, let's see. Let's start. Can you, okay, let's see, let's move the next one. Let's talk about it. Okay. Y no se les olvide también tener eh, la, la cámara encendida. Recuerden pues que la clase está siendo grabada y pues ahí los perfiles de los participantes pues tienen que estar ahí. Entonces es algo que pues ustedes ya saben y ya desde hace tiempos también saben que es un requerimiento y un requisito que Insafor solicita a los participantes de este proyecto. Thank you. Okay, uh, in this case, we will be talking about different events or activities, especially in the simple present and also present continuous for future. The first question is, um, I want you to think about these questions. What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? And what is the first task? What is the first activity? What is the first um, action you develop when you go to your job? Uh, we're not uh, uh, too many students, so that's mean that we can participate. So I want you to think about this question and tell me what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Think about it, activate your microphone and you say, teacher, when I go to my workplace, the first things that I do is to, um, have a meeting with my boss and we organize what we do in activities or maybe what I do is I go and have my breakfast in the morning so that's what the first thing that I do when I go I we pray and we do something what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace okay I I, I want to let you the microphone open so you can participate
Okay, who is going to participate? Ok, eh, ¿alguien va a responder esa pregunta? ¿O nadie? I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, no sé si tal vez pueda acercarse más al micrófono. The, the fear sí. I do is report to my supervisor. Okay, uh, to report to your supervisor, okay. Supervisor. Yes, supervisor, thank you. Excellent, someone else? Someone raise his or her hand. Jocelyn. Hi, Jocelyn. The first thing I do when I get to work is checking. Yeah. Sí. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Okay, someone else? Yes, uh, someone else? Two students have participated. Okay. The participation on you. <laughs> you. <laughs> Tell me. And okay. clean up. Um, preparar y entonces no sé limpiar y preparar el lugar cómo se diría ya yeah. ya yeah. okay and clean the place okay someone else mi teacher Thank you. Um, uh, when I when I get to work, uh, I turn on the computer and check the emails. Okay, checking emails. All right, that's that's very interesting. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. check emails. Who else? Okay, let's continue with the rest of the class. So for this, we were talking about the present continuous. And I just want to ask you, uh, when do we use the present continuous? Who wants to share with me the rules about these grammar structures? When do we use the present continuous? Who wants to help me to answer? Or what do you remember about this topic? Uh, 
I don't remember the structure. Okay. Yes, tell me, tell me. Okay, it is subject plus verb B plus verb and form ING plus complement. Fantastic. Thank you so much. The grammar structures. That's okay. And who else wants to, you know, uh, share also more details in about the, the structures? So when do we use it? Cuando usamos el present continuous? Para que nos sirve? For activities that are joined at the moment and continue in the future. Okay, that's uh, definitely great. Thank you. Okay, so let's continue like giving more details about this. We have a conversation to practice and I want you to follow this conversation. This conversation is between Ryan and Raul. So for this, I need you to pay attention and focus in the pronunciation of the vocabulary. Let's try. Are you ready? Yes, that's okay. So we're gonna start today. It says, good afternoon, Roald. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. Uh, they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Check this conversation again. Good afternoon, Roel. What are you doing right now? G good afternoon, Ryan. Well, well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is that they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to work to your workplace? Well, what's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, this conversation is between two people and they are talking about what they are doing or what plans are getting in the process. So the context about this conversation is for future. And um, well, do you have a questions about the pronunciation or questions about the vocabulary? Tienen alguna consulta sobre eso? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre la pronunciación o vocabulario? ¿O todo está bien? It's okay, teacher. Excellent. So, no problem with that. All right. So, what we had to do is that we will practice this conversation with a partner. And after you practice the conversation, we will answer some questions that we have here. So uh, by the way, so you get that, like in pairs and discuss this question. Who gets earlier at the workplace? What is the topic? One second. Uh, what is the topic role and his team are discussing in the conference? In that case, what we had to do, one second, I'm gonna be moving this. And let's see. Vamos a tomarle aquí una, una captura. So you can check the questions and socialize them. Entonces, um, vamos a ver. Okay. 
Bueno, aquí van a encontrar en el chat las preguntas. So you can see in the chat the questions. All right, this is what we had to do. So let's practice the conversation. Don't forget to use, a, try to give the English accent. Try to change the pronunciation because it's very important. And with the process, we can learn how to, you know, try to pr pronounce the word, use the accent and also that. Okay, we are 12 and I will uh, create the breakup rooms in order to have like three students. Let's see, three, four participants. Let's see, two and three. Uh -huh. Two and three, okay, much better for me. Okay, vamos a crear eh, los breakup rooms. Usted entra y participa, practice the pronunciation and also practice the conversation. Try to sound natural, try to sound fluent, try to get the real accents about that. Okay, so let's start. You have five minutes to practice this conversation. Let's go. Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see what time you do you usual get to do workplace. What's the first thing to do? I I usually read at this um uh, 13 i am um the friends thing i do in checking my name and you well arrive at uh, seven or seven cherry it depends or traffic my fear at this is to pick up the later 
Hoy cambiamos. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am playing a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in the San Salvador. What is or your team <coughs> doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the next room. I see. What style do you usually get to your workplace? What the friends team you do? I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email and to. <clears throat> well, I read at 7 or 7 30. In the, it depends on the traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Hoy si quiere ya practicamos vamos a preguntas. Ahí. Hi Evelyn. Eh, ¿Con quién Ay, este yo no he practicado. Si gusta. Hay una parte donde dice. Hay una parte donde dice que planean el. La videoconferencia, ah, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah. sí, Raúl dice que está planeando la videoconferencia. Ah. What the conference with the new team in San Salvador. Con el nuevo equipo en San Salvador. Ah. Luego le dice, ¿qué está haciendo nuestro equipo ahora mismo? Ahora, ajá. Y que la conferencia va a ser en, en, en Zoom, algo así, en Meeting Room. <ríe> sí, ¿verdad? En The Meeting Room. Sí, algo de ahí, Ajá, pero... es, Bueno, creo que sí, ahorita voy a revisar bien. Yo creo que el tema, no sé si estoy confundida, que Ajá. están abordando es el qué hacen, qué es lo primero que hacen cuando llegan, creo, al lugar de trabajo. Es como el, el, la actividad, dicen, algo así como la, la, el, el, la hora y todo eso, el, el, Sería como las actividades que realizan en, bueno, no, el horario <ríe> y el lugar. Uh -huh. ah, pero, sí, hasta, pero hasta el final dice el, el, el activity, Marfish activity, ¿sí verdad? Raúl dice, en the first thing I do is to check my email. Ajá, él revisa. Revi revi revisa el, el, el email, el, el uh -huh. correo, ¿verdad? Entonces esa sería la de, de Raúl, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y de Ryan sería pick up the letters. Creo que es recoger las letras, la, la, las cartas. Ajá. Donde dice, well, I arrived at 7 on 730. It depends on traffic. Después dice, my first activity is to pick up the letter. Ajá. Sí. Creo que sí, esa sería la actividad del lo... escoger el... Sí, es recoger las cartas. Esa es la actividad. De... Sí, está bien. Bueno, un gusto. Gracias, igual.
Okay, uh, thanks a lot for practicing. Let's start, you know, talking um, about this conversation. First of all, you can see here the first one. Let's check. Well, after practicing this conversation, I know that some of you, you know, had a conversation. Who get the who gets earlier? According to this one, at the workplace. What's the answer about the first one? Yes. Who wants it's to Raul. help me with that? Yes. It's Raul. It's it's Raul, right? It's Raul. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And what is the topic in this case? Um, yes. And his team are discussing in the conference. Jocelyn. En la primer eh, pregunta formamos una respuesta y no sé si está bien, usted me corrige. Eh, Raúl gets to work early than Ryan. Okay. And, okay, yes. And the number two? En eso nos quedamos cuando salimos de la... Okay. And, no la okay, let's see. Uh, number two, who else wants to share this one? The question number two? Um, the question two. Yes. Um, and what is the topic? Um, creo que es el tema que de discusión, verdad? Yes. Um, bueno, no, no sé si si estoy en lo correcto. Lo que hace eh, Raúl es eh, is the check uh, in your email? Is that el correo? Sí, no. No. Teacher, I think that they were discussing about the activities that they usually do in. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, that's right. They are talking about the new team. I mean, if you if you check. They're talking, what is our new team doing right now? So that's mean that they are talking about the new team. That's the answer. Ellos están discutiendo acerca del nuevo equipo. Y claro, describen qué actividades hacen, like, usualmente a qué hora llegan. So they are like giving more details. That's correct. This is the number two. Bien, vamos a identificar cuál es, eh, what is the difference between the simple present and the present continuous. For this, I need you to help with that. In the simple present, we have the subject plus the verb. La estructura gramatical es sencilla. Sujeto y verbo, complemento. El presente simple solo tiene esa estructura. En cambio, el presente simple tiene la siguiente estructura. El sujeto más, ya sea la conjugación del verbo be, que es ser o estar, am, um, is, o are. Y si es negativo, pues sería not. Más el verbo más ing. Como decimos, I am playing, she's studying, you're working. Y tenemos también acá express general truths. Usamos el presente simple to express general truths para expresar verdades generales. Por ejemplo, it rarely rains in the desert. Raramente llueve en el desierto. Nosotros usamos sujeto, verbo y complemento y pues hablamos acerca de realidades generales. The, the, the earth moves around the sun. Eh, Indicates present habits. Indica hábitos en el presente. Cosas que pasan en el presente como un hábito. Eh, the birds return to the islands every morning. Es algo que hacen todos los días. Un hábito. Express timetable events. The plane in, to London takes off at 6.30 a.m. Expresa también eventos que tienen una, una hora específica. Indicates permanent states. Indican acciones permanentes. Algo que es algo permanente, no es algo espontáneo. I like the new James Bond film. Me gusta la nueva película de James Bond. Entonces, algo que es un estado permanente. Algo que me gusta la película, me gusta. En cambio, el presente continuo es para algo un poquito más diferente. 
Si el presente expresa verdades o generalidades, el presente continuo dice que describe actions happening now. El presente continuo nos describe acciones que están pasando en este preciso momento. Por ejemplo, she is reading a newspaper upstairs. Ella lo está haciendo en este momento. I'm, I am paying attention. I'm listening to the teacher. I am writing a report. También express annoying habits. Expresa hábitos que no son muy adecuados, como insoportables. You're always forgetting to pay the bills. Tú siempre estás olvidando pagar los recibos. You're always making noise in class. Eh, she is always this interrupting the people in the meeting. Son expressing annoying habits. También nos sirve para describir eh, acciones en futuro, actividades a futuro. She's getting married on 3rd November. Ella se estará casando el 3 de noviembre. I am completing my English course on September 2nd. Or she is buying a new car in, in July, for example. Entonces describe acciones, eh, acuerdos que están en el futuro, algo que ya está como planeado. No es algo que va a ser espontáneo, es algo que ya yo ya sé que lo voy a hacer y yo estoy diciendo que yo estaré haciendo esto este tiempo. También el present continuous expresses temporary states. Si el presente simple me indica que lo ocupo para, para acciones permanentes, el presente continuo me indica lo opuesto. Expresa acciones temporales. Significa algo que se va a terminar, algo que va a tener una fecha donde termina. Por ejemplo, she's working at the museum until the end of this month. Significa que al final del mes ya no va a trabajar ahí. Entonces es una acción temporal. I am living in London for now. Yo estoy viviendo en Londres. Significa de que posiblemente regrese a su país natal. I am eh, finishing my English project. Estoy terminando mi proyecto de inglés. Significa que en cualquier momento ese proyecto va a terminar. Entonces son acciones temporales. Esa es la diferencia entre el present simple y el present continuous. El present simple nos indica eh, acciones como hábitos pero el presente continuo nos indica acciones que están pasando en este preciso momento y nos indican cosas temporales. That's the way. Y vemos ahí algunos ejemplos. Let's see. I will need the help of uh, Jocelyn. Hello. Hello. Jocelyn, can you help me to read the simple present examples? Okay. One, I check my emails every morning. Uh, two, he writes report about meeting. Three, she she audits. No sé cómo se pronuncia, teacher. Inventories. Yes, audits inventories. Yes. Inventories. Uh, four, they. They are uh, around meeting. La palabra después de day, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Arrange. Range. Arrange. Ah, ok. They, they arrange meeting. Thank you so much. Uh, Macy, can you help me to read the information about the present continuous? We, we use present continuous for going actions in the time of speaking. Number one, I am planning a video conference. Number two, they are getting the document ready. Number three, she is editing the information. Number four, the, sec the secretary is making a phone call. Thank you so much. Ahí podemos ver los ejemplos. Eh, every morning me recuerda un hábito. She, he writes reports about the meeting. Algo que es como una rutina. She all these inventories. Algo que hace todos los días, todos los días. Entonces, 
usamos el present continuous porque lo hacemos como un hábito todos los días. El present continuous ya nos indica acciones que están temporales o breves. Por ejemplo, I am planning a video conference. Estoy planeándolo. And we also we do that. Um, they are getting the documents ready. Están listando los documentos. She's editing the information. The secretary is making a phone call. Estas acciones son un poquito más temporales, a diferencia del, del present simple. Let's try with the, um, some examples. Usted me va a ayudar a poder completar eh, esta oración. Y usted va a decidir si, es el, si va a usar el present simple o present continuous. So you have to check the context. So I'm going to do this one. Let's check this. Okay, finished. No yet. Ok, eh, ya tenemos nuestras respuestas. Yes, yes. Ok, let's check the answers together. The first one says uh, Thomas is printing the contract, right? So in this case, printing will be the example um, because it's something that needs to be done immediately, right? What about the next one? The sheriff meet. What will be this? Sheriff is meeting the bus right now. ¿Cuál es la palabra clave en esta oración? Right now. Exactly. Right now es una palabra que nos indica ahora mismo. Entonces, si es ahora mismo, es una acción que está pasando en este preciso momento. Entonces, right now sería una palabra clave para identificar el present continuo. Number three. Take care of everything. What do you think? Taking care of everything. So you're saying the present continues? Okay. Yeah, taking care. He is. Uh, taking care, yes, of everything. Because it's not a routine, it's something that is happening. Que algo que está pasando, entonces él está tomando, está cuidando la situación, right? He's taking care. Uh, number four, I pay 
attention to the instruction. I am paying. I am paying attention to the instructions. Okay, okay I'm paying attention to the instructions. Sería uh, M. I'm paying attention to the instructions. Teacher, what is the meaning briefly? The meaning of? I'm sorry. In, the, in sentence number five. Ah, we go with that. We we'll go with that. Uh, let's finish the number four. Um, I'm paying. Uh, I am paying attention to the instructions. Okay. Uh, number five. So we say she prepared. And also we can see the word briefing. This is actually um, a word that is related to activities or instructions. She's preparing the briefing. I would say in English, instructions. It's the same meaning. Como sería acá? Prepares or preparing? What's, what is the answer? I'm confused, but prepares. Cuando, ajá, ¿cuál sería? Is preparing. Como dice que está preparando las instrucciones, tiene que ser present continuous porque las va a necesitar. Para, para dar las indicaciones. Entonces, la respuesta correcta sería, so she's preparing brief then. And what is the number six? Is sending. They are. No, are. They are they sending. Are sending. They are sending. Okay, they the are the, the product. They, Okay, so they are sending the products to the warehouse. Okay, so we could see the statements in the present continuous form. We just like shared them in a real time. And uh, that is the most valuable things. Let's continue. Well, let's go on to the last part. And I want you to focus and check what statements we have, right? So I will give you a time to think about this exercise and you have to select if you use the present simple or the present continuous. Please be quiet. I, I work now or I am working now. So think about it and also uh, complete this exercise. I will give you five minutes. And later, we will be using the chat to answer this or completing the following statements. Let's go.
Okay, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so you will help me to answer this part. So we will use the chat here and you will help me to complete the following statements. We have the number one. So what could be the best choice for you in this part? How can you complete this statement? This statement? Yes, number one. I am working now. Please be quiet. So you say it's present continuous. Please be quiet. I am working now because it's something that is happening right now. It is it's happening immediately. That's why you don't need to think twice. It's present continuous. Number two, it uh, not rain at the moment. It is not raining at the moment. Okay, so it is not raining uh, at the moment. Exactly. In this case, you can see that at the moment es una palabra también continua, es decir, algo que está pasando en este momento. It's not raining. Yes. Number three. This shop, what is that? Open with S Open. at eight and close. And at six. So is present simple or present continuous? Present simple. Present simple, right? Uh, this shop opens at eight. Es algo que pasa, una, algo que pasa cotidianamente. Entonces, opens, is present simple. Excellent. Number four, she always. She always go, go always to school by that. Present simple. Yes, because when we see the word go always, always is a, a is a kind of adverb. We can call adverb of frequency. Como es un adverbio de frecuencia, es con qué frecuencia usted realiza algo. Entonces significa de que es algo que se hace constantemente. Entonces, eh, that would be the number four. We say goes, she goes, porque es tercera persona. Número cinco, number five, um, please. The baby sleeps with simple person. Oh, no, 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 he's sleeping. He's sleeping. Yes, because it's happening in this moment. So, the baby is sleeping. It's something that is happening. Right now, it's a temporary situation because he can, the baby can wake up as soon as possible. Number six, Tom always. Gets up early in the morning, simple person. Mm -hmm. Yes, Tom uh, gets up. Early in the morning, always. Ese always, como decíamos, que es un eh, adverbio de frecuencia. ¿Con qué frecuencia hacemos algo? Eh, number seven. Luke Peter is jogging. Is uh, jogging. 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 Okay. Exactly. ING. Yes, uh, it's juggling. Look, Peter is juggling. That's okay. It's, it's immediately something that is happening. Okay. What is the meaning, Jewel? Hello? Hello? What is the meaning, juggling? Juggling. Juggling is when you, you make some movements with some things, with balls, um, with balloons, with objects. So people like, for example, clowns, they move different things. Um, in Spanish, we could say like malabares. That is a juggling. Ah, uh, okay. So look at the next one. Uh, number eight. They, their lunch at the moment. They are having their lunch at the moment. They are having. Exactly. Yeah. And also because we're using at the moment. So remember to use always 
always at the moment. Yes. Next, um, we always have the number nine. She often, she often. Yeah. It's, it's, it's simple present. Simple, simple present. Como sabemos, el often significa a menudo. También es un adverbio de frecuencia. Y todos los adverbios de frecuencia se ocupan con el presente simple porque esto nos indica una acción que es como común. And the last one. I readily. Goes to go for my night. I like the answer. I'm sorry. What do you say? Simple present. So it's present simple. Okay. I readily go because it's the first person. It's the first one. So you say, I readily go to bed before midnight. So you can check that uh, you can see the difference. So I can give you an extra, an extra clue about this. Para identificar brevemente el presente continuo es muchas veces usamos eh, algunas palabras claves como at the moment, right now, in this moment, immediately, in the morning, eh, right away. Estas palabras nos indican que algo está pasando en algo temporal. Pero cuando utilizamos, por ejemplo, always, never, sometimes, usually, almost always, eh, adverbios de frecuencia que nos indican algo que hacemos como rutina, entonces automáticamente sabemos que es el present simple. This is actually part of the, the differences between the simple present and also the present continuous in the statements. En una conversación, usted podrá identificar la diferencia, eh, la diferencia entre ambos. Entonces, eh, esperamos de que, pues, puedan, uh, hayan comprendido un poquito más esa estructura como un repaso y el día de mañana vamos a estudiar un poquito acerca de los eh, de las estructuras contables eh, que es un tema bastante interesante, related to countable things, así que I hope to see you tomorrow and no se les olvide avanzar en los ejercicios en la plataforma ya que pues mm -hmm. estamos terminando y avancen todo lo que puedan porque es muy importante la práctica all right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you guys. Good night. For Bye. Bye. Have a Bye. beautiful night. Have a great time today. Good thank you. Night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, you too. Bye-bye.